Now, as the holidays are approaching, so does shopping season. It does, but unfortunately, identity thieves also begin looking for their next victims. NBC 33's Jen Danzak joins us now with details on a new awareness effort initiative that was launched today. Jen? Eric and Krista, every two seconds, someone in America has their identity stolen. And last year, more than $18 billion was stolen from almost 18 million victims. Those numbers are definitely scary, but the Hoosier State is taking initiative to freeze thieves dead in their tracks. This afternoon, Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller launched the Freeze Identity Thieves statewide effort to help limit identity theft for Hoosiers. Legislature passed a statute three years ago that allows Hoosiers to use an ID theft prevention tool that is described as simple and effective by freezing your credit online. By going onto indianaconsumer.com, residents can freeze the three credit reporting agencies so no new lines of credit can be opened in someone's name unless that person lifts the freeze themselves. This stops identity thieves from using any stolen information, such as a secure social security number, to access and rack up credit. Since scams and fraud over the phone have slowed down after the attorney general stepped in, he plans on using the same approach to stop thieves this time. I had a Best Buy employee tell me that a lot of the, a lot of the TVs that they sell on Black Friday really cheap are made specifically for Black Friday. And they're typically with, made with inferior product, inferior parts. And so know what you're getting. So Jen, uh, are you able to unfreeze the credit reports at all and what happens to any credit usage? Well, once the freeze is initiated, the consumer can temporarily lift it at any time, such as, you know, when they want to apply for a new credit or loan, but you can give permission for others to use it for a one-time use, so there's no problem on that. And in regards to credit cards, it doesn't freeze or use uh, for your current use of credit cards or any of that other information, but it does protect against unauthorized use, which is, of course is important. Yes, no doubt about that. Seems like shoppers don't need to worry as much now. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jen.